Execute a Python script on remote Linux host with Sabix agent. And I'm going to put the Python script on my twocoin.org server. And this is my twocoin.org server and I'm logged in and I'm on my folder home Zabbix. I'm going to create a new file, a new Python file. So nano genrand.py. Very good. Import random print random rand int zero thirty six control x yes and let's test it python genrand nine five two seven five thirteen thirty five very good let's uh, call that on subix agent hey items on my host create a new item and I'm going to call it genrand or get get random number yeah and a Zabbix agent the key system dot uh, run somewhere there it is system run and the command this is on a Linux server is actually Python home Zabbix genrand dot py very good system run Python home that's pretty much it you can test that just by typing that in yep very good the type of information for now is text because I will then see if there's any errors Ch easier general add get random number what's very important um, on your host which I didn't actually point out in my last um, video on this is you need to enable remote commands sudo nano et etc savix savix agent on if i just scroll down a little bit i'll find an option for enable remote commands so is enable remote commands that has to equal one otherwise the commands will fail let's go back into let's look at monitoring later starter see we haven't got anything just yet two coin yep apply jet get random number four there we go that's all the history 423 in the last five minutes I've set that for 10 seconds there we go there's another one excellent now that's a Python script running on a remote Linux server sudo no genran.p that's it there and you can do loads of stuff in Python let's look at that um, as an integer now like I did in the last video configuration hosts items available get random number there it is we'll see that as a numeric um, I'll just keep it for one day update monitoring later starter wait for the change to apply can take up to a minute get random number there it is 16 let's look at the graph it's now as a graph there's one number there as a graph and of course we can create a trigger on that if we wanted to it has number 22 
first number was 16. There's another number. Very good.